Hey everybody, welcome back to another career tutorial. Today we're gonna go over a couple tips and stuff for the Comex Manager that I kind of discovered while working with it more and things that I think you should keep in mind as well when you're working on this Docker and your project yourself. So to begin with, we're gonna go to project settings. We're gonna talk about the pages folder. So you can link the pages folder to whatever folder you want. However, Krita will not update the comics manager with those files. You have to basically take everything out and put it back in. So I'm not gonna do this because there's a lot of pages and it's gonna take forever. So right now, or when I first made this comic project, I had everything going or coming out of the comic pages folder, which is the default pages. All my thumbnails were in there, everything was good, perfect. I've finished all the pages. I'm ready for the next step, which is cleaning them up and prep uh, prepping them for line work. So I made a new folder called Pages Line Work. I went to the Dockers, or the Comics Manager Docker, and I relinked it to Pages Line Work, and I hit Select Folder. So that way, whenever I worked on these files, it would be putting those files back in. However, I did miss a crucial step. When you link these folders up for your pages, it will not automatically save that folder or that file in the new folder that you made. So here it was empty basically while I was working on the line work. So what I had to do was I had to copy all the pages. Actually bring that here. I had to copy everything, all the thumbnails and everything in here, copied those, and I pasted them in the line work folder. So now I have two folders with the same files basically, except now in the, in the line work folder, I can go ahead and rename things if I want for the file names, all that good stuff. Make sure it's in the right order. And it's now separated for me, so I have the original thumbnail files and the line work files. And the next step that I had to do to make sure the comics manager docker was um, bringing in those files properly and taking them from the line work folder, I basically had to remove everything manually out of here by hitting right clicking and remove page and then bringing back in those pages from the new folder, the line work folder. So now I'm going to show you here that it works. I have one file open. I'm going to slather it with some red. I'm going to save it. takes a minute because it's a large file. So now I'm gonna scroll down till I see that in my Docker here. So you can see here, all right, perfect. It updated in the Docker, but we wanna make sure it's coming from the pages and line work folder that I created and re-imported back into the Comics Manager. So I'm gonna to go to my file viewer and you can see here I am under the pages line work folder. And here is the, full, the file that I just updated with that red line. Now if I go to make sure it's not linking to the pages folder, you can see here, same page, which is page two and chapter two. I'm sorry, page one and chapter two. No, that's right, page two and chapter two. There is no run line. And that's how I know that I have re-imported the proper pages from the proper folder for line work into the Comics Manager Docker. I would like to see in the future that Krita just kind of automatically links these pages up with whatever's in the folder that you have linked to but for now this is a workaround and it's it's perfectly fine for me Net cancel okay future missy <laughs> so i wanted to clarify something too about the project settings for the page line pages um folder or how you redirect it if you don't want to go through all that like i did and you are fine with this what you can do is just copy that folder and then paste it and it'll take a minute here so I'll just quick forward to that all right so I pasted it we can just rename that whole folder to we'll just say thumbnails and then you have a history of that and you can keep working on that same folder I kind of Personally don't want to do that. I'd rather just have this like the start point and then just it's just the way my brain operates <laughs> But so yeah, you can just do that and then you have a history by just copying and pasting the folder renaming the pasted folder and you don't have to go through with re-importing any pages or Changing the pages folder origin or anything like that It just depends how you want to work 
it's good to have multiple options and everything within Krita. So I just wanted to share that as well. All right, and now that we got that out of the way, there was something else that I noticed with the file. So when you add a page, so let's say add page, again, big files, yada, yada, yada. I have this pumpkin prints two, which is not named to match anything else. So I can go ahead and rename that here to whatever I want. And that's great. And open that file up and that will open. Okay. So we're going to actually prove that here. We'll just say chapter two. Okay. It's great. And then we're going to go find that blank file now. All right, so now that it's been renamed, it doesn't appear in here because we've changed that file name, so we kind of have to bring that back in. So we're going to go to Add Existing Pages, going to go to our line work, and we're going to click on that. So now it's here. But if you notice, come on, Windows, here I renamed it to... Let me see if I can change the view to extra large. There we go. So the pumpkin prints chapter two, zero two. It doesn't match. But if I click on it and let that open, that does match the file name that's in my file viewer. So if you're going to go and rename some of these file names, that's totally fine. It's not going to actually break anything. You just might have to re-import them later. You can go ahead and make sure that in the comic stalker, it's going to have the same preview name by going to file, document information, and changing this here. So now I can make this match. So I can say that I can print chapter two, what page should I leave off on? Page 24, p01.kra. Now, if you leave the .kra off, it won't show up in the Comics Manager either. So we're going to hit OK and save. And now this matches the file name structure that I have for everything else. I can take the spaces out if I want because these don't have uh, underscore. Um, but that's how you can make sure that everything in the Comics Manager has the same naming structure that's visible in the Comics Manager and not just in your file viewer. And those are just two things that I ran across that I had to make sure I fixed and tweaked to make sure my folder structures were operating the way I wanted them to and that the Comics Manager had everything uh, previewing exactly how I wanted. Hopefully none of this was confusing. I know that the comics um, page management system was a little wonky, but hopefully that was still understandable. <laughs> if you guys have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And um, I'll write out in the first comment the step-by-step -step process for linking to a new folder. That will probably help as well versus just the visual itself. All right, and that's it for the two tips that I have for the Comics Manager. Everything else worked out really well. Um, I haven't had any other issues or confusion or, oops, I forgot about that, uh, scenarios. Thank you guys for watching this series. I hope you learned something and I hope you get to use the Comics Manager to its full potential. And I can't wait for more updates within Krita that are coming out for this, which I will always update you guys on when they happen. Alright, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video and I will see you in the next one.